In this video, we will explore the motion of a simple harmonic oscillator graphically. First, we will examine the motion of the oscillator with respect to time. The displacement, velocity, and acceleration time graphs will be explained and the connections between them explored. Secondly, the velocity and acceleration as a function of displacement graphs will be described and the relationship between the acceleration displacement graph and the defining equation of simple harmonic motion will be explained. Finally, the relationships between the kinetic, potential, and total energy with respect to time and displacement will be discussed. The graphs of motion with respect to time for an object undergoing simple harmonic motion are sinusoidal in nature. If we consider the motion of a pendulum, where at a time equal to zero, the pendulum is at the maximum positive displacement, the displacement time graph will start at positive x0. At the maximum displacement, the velocity of the object will be 0 meters per second, so the velocity time graph will start at a velocity of 0. According to the rules of simple harmonic motion, the acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement and points in the opposite direction towards the equilibrium position. So if the displacement time graph for the motion starts at the positive maximum, the acceleration time graph will start at a maximum but in the negative direction. As the pendulum swings into the equilibrium position, the displacement will become zero meters at a time of a quarter period. The velocity is a maximum at the equilibrium position, and the horizontal acceleration at the equilibrium point is zero meters per second squared. As the pendulum continues to oscillate through to the maximum displacement to complete half a period, the displacement will move to a maximum in the negative direction. The velocity will again be zero meters per second, and the acceleration will be a maximum in the positive direction. As the pendulum returns to the equilibrium position, the displacement will return to zero meters, the velocity will be a maximum, and the horizontal acceleration will be zero meters per second squared. And finally, to complete a full period of oscillation, the motion time graphs will repeat these patterns of maximum and zero values for the displacement, velocity, and acceleration. The velocity time graph can be determined from the displacement time graph. Recall that the velocity of the object can be found by taking the slope of the displacement time graph. Because the displacement time graph is nonlinear, the slope of the tangent line will be the instantaneous velocity of the mass. When the mass is at a maximum displacement, the slope of the tangent line is 0 meters per second. So the velocity as a function of time graph will feature that point. At the equilibrium point, the slope of the tangent line is a maximum value, indicating that the velocity is a maximum when the object passes through the equilibrium point. The direction of the velocity can be found by the sine of the slope. In this example, the slope is negative, so the velocity will be in the negative direction. The acceleration time graph can be found in a similar manner. The instantaneous acceleration is the slope of the tangent line of the velocity time graph. When the object is at a maximum velocity, the acceleration will be 0 meters per second. The slope of the tangent line is 0, and the acceleration time graph will feature that point. When the velocity is 0 meters per second, the acceleration will be a maximum. Again, the direction of the acceleration can be found by the sine of the slope. In this example, the slope is negative, and so the acceleration will be in the negative direction. The three motion time graphs can also be related through phase shifts. The velocity time graph is a quarter wave phase shift of the displacement time graph. The acceleration time graph is a quarter wave phase shift of the velocity time graph. Notice that in comparing the acceleration and displacement time graphs, the two conditions for simple harmonic motion are demonstrated. The acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement, but points in the opposite direction, towards the equilibrium position. Comparing the displacement and the acceleration time graphs, we see that there is an overall phase shift of half a wavelength, which is equivalent to a reflection in the time axis. The motion of an oscillator undergoing simple harmonic motion can also be described through the graphs of velocity as a function of displacement and acceleration as a function of displacement. If we consider the velocity as a function of displacement, when the object is at a maximum displacement in the positive direction, the object will have a velocity of 0 meters per second. On a velocity displacement graph, this point will appear on the displacement axis. As the object moves towards the equilibrium position, the velocity will reach a maximum, resulting in a point on the velocity axis of the graph. 
the object will then return to the maximum displacement on the opposite side of its starting point, completing half a period of motion. This results in a point on the graph on the negative displacement axis. This process will repeat for the second half period of the motion, resulting in a closed figure on the velocity displacement graph. Note that the graph of speed as a function of displacement would only show the positive axis, because speed is a scalar quantity. If we consider the defining equation of simple harmonic motion, the acceleration is equal to negative the angular frequency squared times the displacement, and recall the two rules for simple harmonic motion, that the acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement and points towards the equilibrium position, graphically, these rules are represented by a linear relationship passing through the origin with a negative slope. When the object is at the maximum displacement, in the positive direction, the object will have a maximum negative acceleration. As the object moves towards the equilibrium position, the acceleration becomes 0 meters per second squared. The object will then return to the maximum displacement on the opposite side of its starting point, completing half a period of motion. This results in a maximum acceleration in the positive direction. As the object oscillates back to the equilibrium point, and continues to the maximum displacement in the positive direction, the acceleration displacement graph returns to 0 meters per second squared and then to a negative maximum value. The acceleration displacement graph is an important graph for the study of simple harmonic motion. It's a linear relationship with a negative slope, with the slope equal to the angular frequency squared. The mechanical energy of a mass undergoing simple harmonic motion is the sum of the potential energy and the kinetic energy of the object, and is a constant. As the object moves, the energy is converting between kinetic to potential and back again. The total energy, potential energy, and kinetic energy of an oscillator can be shown as a function of time or as a function of displacement. If we consider an oscillator that at a time of zero seconds is at a maximum displacement, the total energy will be in the form of potential energy, and the kinetic energy will be zero joules. As the object moves to the equilibrium position, the potential energy will become zero joules, and the total energy will be in the form of kinetic energy. As the object continues its motion to return to a maximum displacement on the opposite side, to complete half a period of motion, the total energy will be in the form of potential energy, and the kinetic energy will now be zero joules. The object will then return to the equilibrium position, where the total energy is in the form of kinetic energy and the potential energy is zero joules. Finally, one period of motion will be complete as the object returns to its starting point at a maximum displacement, where the total energy will be in the form of potential energy and the kinetic energy will be zero joules. The graph of potential energy as a function of time will be a cosine squared function with the same period as the period of motion of the oscillator. The kinetic energy as a function of time will then be a sine squared function. The total energy as a function of time will be a constant horizontal line. The potential energy as a function of displacement graph will be parabolic, because the potential energy is proportional to its displacement squared. The total energy will be constant, resulting in a horizontal line. The kinetic energy will be equal to the total energy minus the potential energy, resulting in an inverted parabola for the kinetic energy as a function of displacement graph. In summary, the motion and energy of a simple harmonic oscillator can be explored through its graphs as a function of time and displacement. The displacement, velocity, and acceleration as a function of time graphs are sinusoidal in nature. These graphs can be related to each other through the slopes of the tangent lines. The slope of the tangent line of the displacement time graph is the velocity, and the slope of the tangent line of the velocity time graph is the acceleration. The velocity as a function of displacement graph shows a closed figure for one period of motion, demonstrating that the velocity is zero at the maximum displacement and a maximum at the equilibrium position. The acceleration as a function of displacement graph is a linear relationship with a negative slope equal to the angular frequency squared. This demonstrates the defining equation of simple harmonic motion. The acceleration is equal to negative the angular frequency squared times the displacement, and also the two conditions of simple harmonic motion. The acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement and points towards the equilibrium position. 
Potential energy and kinetic energies as a function of time are sine squared graphs. And at any point, the sum of the kinetic and potential energy is the total energy of the oscillator. When graphed as a function of displacement, the potential energy and kinetic energy graphs form parabolas because the potential energy is proportional to the displacement squared. The total energy will be a horizontal line and will be equal to the sum of the potential and kinetic energies at any point. Thanks for watching.